Thanks for watching eSports Monies. Subscribe and enable notifications with the bell icon so you don't miss any of this questionable content. And if you hit the like button, I'll probably get more views or something, so go on and do that too, I guess. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Esports Money, ZSM, Mac10, whatever you want to call me, and welcome to me talking about the Doom fiasco. So, Doom VFR, what does it stand for? Virtual effing reality. So, Doom VFR is the first major AAA title, um... Uh, actually, I'm I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna make claims there because a lot of people are gonna get triggered about what's considered AAA. But it is the first game made by Bethesda or ID that has been pushed into virtual reality, available through Steam. Uh, unlike Skyrim VR, which is a PlayStation VR exclusive. So let's get down to business. What's the problem here? So last night when the game launched, Windows Mixed Reality headsets worked with it. Worked with it. Uh, the HTC Vive worked with it. But the Oculus did not. And this wasn't an isolated incident. There were not people anywhere saying that it was working with an Oculus Rift. There were people saying that they were having similar bugs on the Vive and Mixed Reality headsets as people on the Oculus. But there was no one saying that they were getting a good... That they were able to play the game using the Oculus Rift. So... There is a lawsuit going on between ZeniMax Media, who owns Bethesda, and Facebook, who owns Oculus. And it's actually about a Doom game, funny enough, and about John Carmack, who made Doom. So Oculus is, in their own little way, uh, it's like there was a shower thought on Reddit that was like, anyone that's going to use a Doom game to take revenge on John Carmack is, is a special kind of evil. But aside from the memes, this is significant because... This means that the Elder Scrolls games that will be coming to VR and the Fallout Fallout 4, which will be coming on the 12th of December, will also be dealing with this problem. And that's that's huge because these are these are gigantic titles coming in VR. Now, as of this morning, uh, early this morning, Steam, and by early, I mean like 1 or 2 a.m., uh, a beta update was released for Steam VR, and it, it allowed Doom to be played on the Vive. Or uh, on the Oculus, and it was released by uh, Steam. It was official. It wasn't a hack or a workaround. And I'm very, I mean, I'm I'm very pleased that this is the the direction that it went. And everyone out there is seeing the praises of Bethesda and saying, okay, they aren't. Whoops, I shouldn't have said all those angry things. I think you maybe should have, because part of me really suspects that Bethesda launched the game purposely blocking oculus support and then realized oh there's a steam hardware survey hmm oculus rift is over half of the marketplace you see in may of 2016 oculus cumulatively controlled like 20 percent of the market uh whereas vive well a little bit more than 20 but between all oculus devices versus the vive the vive had 66 percent of the market today the vive has uh 40 8.8% of the market, according to the Steam Hardware Survey, and the number is actually way less than that, or or at least significantly less than that, because the Vive is always connected to Steam to get games. Simple, you get your games from Steam in almost every case, versus Oculus has a massive amount of content with a store built, in, built from the ground up for Oculus that's not Steam VR. It's called Oculus Home, the Oculus Store. So... There are way more Oculus CV1s with touch controls floating around now than there are Vives. If Bethesda arbitrarily says Oculus users can't play this title, then they are throwing away quite literally more than 50% of their sales. Quite literally more than half of their sales are being thrown away if they don't allow our device to play it. So I don't think that this was a bug. I really do not, and I'm going to sound really tinfoil hatty here, but I genuinely do not think that this was a bug. I think this was Bethesda saying, we're going to flex our might and we're going to show, at, we're going to show Oculus, at least initially, that we are willing to block them out and that we have the ability to. And I think they may have intended to permanently block Oculus, the Oculus Rift, from using Doom VFR. And then when they realized, Ooh, you know what? This isn't a subsection of our user base. This is 
a plurality of our potential customers, then they immediately changed their tone. They didn't add Oculus SDK support, so they didn't actually add native support, but they stopped blocking the game so people can figure it out on their own and people can add their own support. So that's my two cents. That's what I think happened. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. And I've just recorded footage for Doom Jungling Guide, uh, because Doom things. I'll be streaming Doom uh, later this weekend and putting a review out of Doom uh, VFR later this weekend. In the meantime, I'll be doing work for my actual job. Uh, so I will talk to all of you soon. See ya!